I'm Clay Jones, and when Jehovah's Witnesses come to my door, I always use exactly the same tactic. I got it from a former Jehovah's Witnesses witness named Bill Setner, and what I say is, is I say, let me ask you one question, and once I, once you've answered my one question, uh, then you, I'll let you ask me any question you want. And the question is this, it has a couple of parts though. The question is, the first thing I say to Jehovah's Witness is, so, Mr. Jehovah's Witness, do you believe, you believe Jehovah is Almighty God? Well, of course, Jehovah's Witnesses are all excited because that's exactly what they believe. Jehovah is Almighty God. So Jehovah equals Almighty God. And then I ask the Jehovah's Witness, so is Jehovah a true God or a false God? Of course, they immediately reply, of course Jehovah is a true God. And I say, now Jesus isn't Jehovah, right? And they go, no, and they're, now they're happy. Of course, of course Jesus isn't Jehovah. I'll say, so, uh, is, I know in John 1.1, 1, 1, in your translation, it says, and Jesus is, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was a mighty God, or a God. It says that Jesus was a God. I said, so in, you believe Jesus is a God, and in Isaiah 9, 6, it calls him a mighty God. And they're like, oh yeah, sure, this is exactly correct. And then I say to them, so, is Jesus a true God or a false God? Usually they'll pause there for a minute because they're like, oh, but they'll always say, uh, Jesus is a true God. And then, now here's the question. Okay, so now that I've set this up, here's the question. Well, you have two true gods, count them, two true gods. But in Isaiah 43.10, it says, Before me no god was formed, and neither shall there be any after me. I am the Lord. And so how do you explain the fact that you have two true gods when the passage I just quoted says, I, Before me no god was formed, neither shall there be any after me. Now, this is where the wheels begin to come off the wagon. Usually, though, they'll say something like this. Well, Satan's a god, and I'll say, yes, but is Satan a true god or a false god? And they'll go, he's a false god. I say, you still have two true gods. And then they'll say, yeah, well, we only, wor and we only worship one god. And I say, ah, so if I had two wives, but I said I only loved one of them, that would still make me a polygamist. You still believe there are two true gods. Uh, they will try all kinds of things to get around it. For instance, there's a place where it says, I will make Moses a god to you. And I'll just say uh, that he will be like, actually the passage is, I'll make go Moses like a god to you. And I say, is there a difference? Do you see a difference between Moses being like a god to them and Moses being actually a god to them? Well, of course, it doesn't make any sense. By the way, uh, I have a blog on this at clayjones.net. Uh, all I can say is, uh, don't let them off the hook. They will often, by the way, say, oh yeah, well, you're talking about the Trinity. And I'll say, I never mentioned the Trinity. What I'm talking about is that you have two true gods. And I think you'll find that they won't get away from it. Now, watch this. They'll say, they'll say, okay, now, but let me ask you about this or that. I'll say, no, 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 no. I said, answer my question. And once you answer my question, I'll let you ask any question you want. You didn't answer my question. You can't explain to me how you can have two true gods when the Bible says you, there's only one God. And, and honestly, this, is, this may sound a little funny, but I'm kind of glad for them to just walk off real in frustration, which is like what happens like every single time, because they can't answer my question. They won't be able to answer your question. And uh, so just, but I don't want them to start asking me questions because I want to put a pebble in their shoe. I want to be the guy where they go, huh, I really don't have the answer to that question, and I want them to leave that way. I don't want them to leave, yeah, well, we asked them 10 million other questions. I don't want to do that. So anyway, try this out the next time the Jehovah's Witnesses come to your door. I think you will find it is very successful.